Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Using New Super Taxes to Steal Your Car. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up too, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we update a new show. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's uh, episode of our show on all your social media to help spread the word. Now, let's get started. Everybody knows that if you don't pay your home property taxes, then they will seize it and sell it eventually. But apparently, that doesn't make them enough money, so they're expanding their search for more new tax revenue. Where are they looking now? They're looking at taxing people's cars, especially the cars that people have fully paid off, cars with no outstanding loans on them. Don't get me wrong, they will still aggressively pursue cars that still have loan balances on them, but they're also contemplating going after cars of all sorts. So how will this unfold? Well, there are states out there which already impose a sales tax whenever somebody purchases a car. But guess what? There are also states out there which impose a property tax on cars. And if you don't pay those property taxes, then they will boot your car and start seizing your vehicle for sale at auction. But as you can see, the economy is going from bad to worse. This means that they're getting more desperate for tax revenue. So what are they planning on doing? Well, some places are thinking of implementing a property tax on cars and charging people each year just like they do on homes. Other states that already have a vehicle tax are thinking of raising that vehicle property tax. So what does this mean to the average individual car owner in those states that are cooking up these crazy new state uh, vehicle property taxes? Well, if you're doing really well financially, then you probably won't even notice the hit. But if you're poor or middle class and you have one or two cars, then you will definitely feel the pain. If you have two cars valued at $30,000 each and they hit you with a 4% property tax, then that means you have to come up with another $2,400 a year to pay for those new vehicle property taxes. For many middle class or formerly middle class people, they simply won't be able to afford that and they will have to sell one or both of their cars. Imagine if you had to sell off one or all of your vehicles, what do you think most people would have to do? Buy a motorcycle or a scooter? How many people do you think could start driving a motorcycle around town uh, in their middle years or their, you know, their older years. Would that be practical? Would that even be possible for many people? I don't think it would. I suspect that if local and state governments started to aggressively tax and seize people's vehicles for, uh, for tax non-payment, then we suspect that the pushback would be severe. I don't think many local or state politicians who advocated such a new uh, tax could get re-elected. In fact, I suspect that a lot of them would be impeached or thrown out of office. So what are the odds of these new vehicle taxes becoming a reality? Well, that depends on the various cities and states contemplating them. I suspect that in some places they might well get away with it, but in many other areas the voters would go crazy and they'd start, uh, and they'd start rebelling. Not many people know about this yet, but once they realize what they're cooking up, then I believe the opposition to this would be fairly strong. And if these new taxes were somehow forced upon the people, then I suspect car owners would start to oppose these taxes in any way they could. Also, once local news channels start playing stories showing these uh, taxes uh, being forced on the poor and the middle class, then I think the public outrage would grow even worse. We'll have to wait and see what happens, but I suspect nothing good will come of any of these taxes. Thank you for watching. I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. Uh, you can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be uh, notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link of today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, uh, we want to thank you for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.